Despite how dark it is at the moment, we are not yet in winter. We are still in autumn, for a few more days at least. And therefore this fortnight I dug out a piece of music that comes from a collection of piano works, Chrev de Autumn, so Dreams of Autumn, by the Russian composer Vladimir Ivanovich Rebikov. He wrote this set of piano pieces in the late 19th century, and around about 1902 he transcribed the third movement of this set, Moment Triste, uh, for horn and piano. And this piece of music I came to know thanks to a really wonderful album of pieces by William Melton, um, a collection of works for horn and piano from the late 19th, early 20th century. And I gravitated towards this piece and I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to get out an instrument I quite often use when I'm playing late 19th, early 20th century Russian repertoire. This instrument is by Wilhelm Finke, who, and it was made probably in the early 20th century. Uh, Finke was making instruments in, um, uh, now it's called Liberec, but then it was Reichenberg. It was Reichenberg when it was Bohemian, and it's Liberec now that it is Czech. And I've used this instrument for a few Russian pieces in the past. I used it on the Prince Regent's band Russian Revolutionaries disc. And the reason I went for this instrument, I could have gone in two directions because Russian music, late 19th, early 20th century, the Russian connections with France are very strong. Um, for example, you know, Arban, the French cornet player, um, travelled to Russia kind of as a emissary of the French musical scene um, and we quite often see uh, cornets uh, with piston valves um, in Russian in the Russian tradition so I could I could have gone in a French direction um, also Rebikov had a lot of strong connections with France or I could have gone in a kind of Austro-Germanic direction because that was a big influence on Russian music as well um, so I decided to go in the direction of a Austrian Germanic style instrument of the late 19th, early 20th century. Another reason I decided to go in that direction is there is a wonderful um, facsimile catalogue um, from Zimmermann. Um, this is from around about 1900. And this, this is a great... Um, uh, as I say, it's a facsimile of the original catalogue. And in it, there's a picture of a horn which is extremely similar in design to my Finker. So I thought I would get the Finker out and play this Rebikov, uh, yeah, Moment Trist. It's a very solemn little work. So I hope you enjoy that. If uh, you've been enjoying these videos and these performances and chats about all things historic horn related, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can keep up to date with what I'm getting up to during this uh, Corno Not Corona project.